Hello, after a long time. Um, in this video, I would like to talk about disclosure and alien contact and what I uh, think about it, like me personally, not channeled information, and also um, tell you about like, uh, yeah, about the channeling that I was doing on disclosure and that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I had also, like I was choosing between two topics to talk about and one is of course our situation uh, with the virus and stuff and um, each time when I was also thinking about this, uh, because many things are inter interconnected, I then got to thinking to, well, my brain associated many different things and got into also disclosure and stuff. and. So, uh, I don't necessarily see this situation like somehow related with the disclosure and aliens like or like in negative or uh, positive aspects. Uh, it's just something that happens. So um, more on that I would like to speak about in other video. Uh, and yeah, I got some downloads already in the beginning, uh, some someone in the March or so, and uh, yeah, I wanted to share about it and. Uh, I was just pushing it in front of me that I wanted to share. Uh, so I'm finally doing it. But also another topic was this disclosure stuff. Uh, because of course, like, I am like all of you or most of you. that of course, I would like uh, contact to happen or s like somewhere, somewhere in the future. And um, uh, but... Uh, each time, like whatever I'm doing, I'm trying to tune into myself and feel into uh, whatever either I'm thinking or situation is and what is my intuition telling me, uh, my gut feeling. Um, and even though I made um, uh, this channeling about disclosure with the Sheila back to, I think, I think it was November or December last year, uh, about disclosure and contact, so it was two channelings, and um, I would like to reflect on that. Uh, not necessarily what was said there, because I, I don't remember that much, really, uh, but I remember feelings, because it's like, uh, yeah, it's ideas that I'm just translating into words, uh, and each time I can maybe find different way of saying things, but basically the idea is the same, so I remember ideas. Uh, or uh, some of them and uh, so I as a person that was delivering it have my own perspective on it as well and disclosure or contact um, and it's strange because um, she was delivering something that I <laughs> basically don't resonate with if I if I have to say it this way but like um I am looking at things in a different way. Yeah, that, that's what I want to say. Like that's why it was not resonating. Or I, yeah, I'm just looking at it from different perspective, and she was offering different uh, energy there and suggestion through the energy, through the ideas and so on. And for me, like uh, whatever she's telling me, like I am like yeah, but I'm not sure like if I if I even me like. Uh, believe this and uh, because um, uh, this um, like a waiting is very painful so I have these beliefs uh, towards it um, and um, of course sorry <laughs> I would like to happen um, I would like it to happen sooner of course than it's probably going to happen and but you know that's what I wanted to say. Like I believe that um, there is quite a long road towards that happening. And my questions, of course, I'm also asking questions. I'm not expecting answers immediately. It's like my inner uh, questions that I want to feel. Like what are the right right um, answers for me? So it's not like I am. Uh, trying to connect and yeah, give me these answers or whatever, but one answer, uh, one, one question that I, for example, have, like when I'm tuning into feeling, like when this can happen, is uh, like, what do we actually need for it to happen? Like, 
uh, how we need to evolve, like who we need to be on a personal level, like every one of you. Of course, I know this path of uh, like exploring ourselves and evolving is not linear or like the same for every person. So, and even we cannot even say like what is the right thing for certain, uh, for individual, for everyone. And not even me, I cannot even say about me that I know like where I should aim or what I should be and so on. And, um, you know, for, for me, it was like uh, before I was thinking that we need to be much more evolved uh, emotionally and mentally and balanced for in order to meet them. And, and I think as I am wording this, it's true. Uh, but it's again like uh, still this is what this idea but what is the result how the result looks you know that's questionable uh because i was thinking like because i was going through my path in a certain way uh i was thinking that that was like a sample of how it should happen or or so like what i mean is um like doing inner work healing myself or um being sincere, honest, uh, truthful, um, respectful, not manipulating people, uh, and also uh, introspection to actually look at how I behave and what I can change to really change, look into the past if I can, into distant past, past of like what is influencing me as a person right now. But it's usually mostly about also like a my own personal life and how I go through it, how I can change myself in order to I can have more comfortable existence here. So if I, if that existence is not um, that comfortable, it's uh, kind of like my fault. <laughs> and um, so I am trying to like, okay, if I create some situation, either with a person or whatever in general, then I like to look at it like how I can change it, but all, always, like, yeah, of course, how I can change myself not to create that situation. Usually it's mostly with the people because, of course, I cannot see into people like what is their wounds, you know, what are their triggers. And, um, but I still can learn from understanding them afterwards. I maybe trigger them or hurt them. Like, how I can change my um, communication or whatever I'm doing. Well, it's I, I guess usually about communication in a verbal non-verbal way. Like what what I can do to to not uh, do it or create it again or so. But at the same time, not disconnecting from myself, from my own self-respect, from my own boundaries. But yeah, difficult part of this was, yeah, I'm going off tangent, but <laughs> sorry, was like when you meet an artist, uh, then these people, you know, they always are right, you know, and even though you see how they are uh, behaving, it's um, they are either lying or just creating, yeah, they are believing <laughs> in themselves, like what they, are, what they are projecting and so on, for them it's true, but yeah, it's gaslighting and this kind of stuff happening that is confusing you and that is a different thing like how I can reflect on those uh, situations is not really like how I can change myself uh, in relation to them because unfortunately most of the time it's maybe mostly their fault <laughs> like their shit what I can change is like me, like why I even got there. You know, I always look into like when I am having this kind of situation, like I am trying to get to the beginning and see like where, when this happened, like why I got into it and so on, where I ignored my intuition. So those are mostly lessons. So uh, basically just going through this, uh, whatever, like changing myself, like uh, maturing more, and stuff or you know just healing process uh, but I had a certain idea of like how that should look maybe shouldn't look and so on but I'm meeting also people that I feel that are very balanced and so on but they they are working or being in a just different like very very different but I still see like they're still like a, on a good way or something I, I don't know how to describe it 
maybe it's not my way but still it's like interesting so um i'm questioning even like uh what we really need like do we really need like to what degree we need to um, individually heal and transform ourselves yeah like a person that uh, for example ignores uh, um, their uh, programming and doesn't do anything about it and is just uh, like uh, bending them to kind of like manipulate situations so it's kind of like comfortable or so, so like doable <laughs> like uh, can this person for example manifest it but yeah when i look at look back like why i manifested my contact experiences it's because i was doing all this work you know with myself um so from there this belief comes you know i'm just flowing <laughs> i didn't prepare so <laughs> so bear with me um i'm just creating this in the now moment mm. so i i don't know like what we need you know so that's why because i don't know what we need like how we should evolve you know i i don't even know like into what probabilities i have to tune into to feel like when something can happen uh and like uh yeah maybe i was just at attracting uh too much of uh lessons life last last few years but from my perspective i was or i was ex, uh, attracting people uh that i feel like uh <laughs> like most of the people feel to me like they're i don't know bad in some way like really disrespectful unconscious even they try to appear conscious or dumb even like stupid and appearing like they are clever, but then they are like uh, pushing their ego on you and all this kind of stuff. Like I'm like, what? That's why I was talking about like this manipulation and respect first, um, and listening to each other like really. And they're only projecting, and there is no talk to with these people. And I'm thinking like, for example, would this person be able to, for example? Uh, handle contact uh, with, with this uh, few that I for example met that I would be saying like they are not on the right path that I was thinking that should lead there like inner work and stuff like would they be uh, not willing but able to accept aliens coming <laughs> or showing themselves and so on and I was like yeah they would but um, I think they, they would uh, but again, like uh, another aspect of it is energy, you know, from my pers uh, from my experiences with the Shayla, um, I am in, I, I guess I'm quite in long integration um, passage right now or process because uh, in the 2016, mostly there was most of the, I guess, acceleration that I experienced with her and um, and then I was experiencing with the other beings, but uh, yeah, at first, like uh, when you are accepting their presence into your uh, physical reality, although I didn't have a hundred percent physical experiences, I was able to allow her energy into my physical body, to, and that is also energy. So and into my energies, but I feel I was feeling it in my physical body as well, and all these um, energies that I was receiving that were very intimate, not necessarily sexual, but very intimately um, and deeply touching myself, like inner core from inside of me. And um, that process was quite hard. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, I know, I know I have to process it uh, still. <laughs> and um, so it was... Um, bringing a lot of stuff out of me that I needed to resolve in order to or balance or whatever to just let go maybe in order to have more experiences more blending and more melting into each other you know experiences um, and what I was also getting from the beginning that my experiences with the Shela is like what we are doing, but again, this may be just my way of how I am bringing her and with her all the maybe other races for me into my reality is that we are blending 
maybe in accelerated way through intimate sharing, uh, energies, chakras, sexual energies, loving, uh, you know, lower lower chakras, first chakra, it is physical kind of like the we are rooted in in physical body through lower chakras and like uh, the most dense I guess is first chakra. So even receiving her energies there, you know. Um, so so yeah, that is my way. Uh, so I don't know like what other people have, but uh, yeah, it's still I guess. It, when I was even uh, talking to other people, it seems like yeah, this is really bringing a lot of stuff from inside of them, you know. And I'm not sure, like, without any work, if people would be able to experience contact. Uh, you know, my experiences with the Sheila when I was feeling and receiving her energy and how I needed, needed to be gradual, uh, those intimate energies, many times I was thinking, like, what I was able to handle, like, after a few months and so on, like, from the beginning. Um... I was thinking like if people would or if they would appear immediately I was just I was thinking like people would there would be just orgies everywhere like in this energy is so strong you know how you would be able to <laughs> or normal people without anything like uh, balance it and, and so on so I, I I'm not sure like if people are able to you know accept them you know just like that and also uh, the, the physical presence is yeah this is what I just remembered also before I was having these experiences I was also kind of like trying to imagine how how, how it could be like oh, they're coming if I would be afraid or something no uh, and many people think this way that they would accept them but yeah uh, I, I'm not sure if uh, if it's possible really if every single person that who wants to experience contact and who will like basically if we all want to this um, this happen to f for everyone like I, I think everyone has to you know do some inner work or go go through some stages so and when I see like people if they are able or so I don't know like hopefully <laughs> maybe it will accelerate that they would get it easier I don't know um and maybe what I'm doing is like help helping the process is also collective energy, so it can be easier later for other people, I don't know. Um, but uh, imagining that everyone would need to go through something, and I know I'm saying the same thing as I did, but something that is this intense, like, and people being willing to go through it and choosing it is like, uh, I cannot see it will happening even like uh, 10 years probably, I don't know. Uh, yeah, like them be really being manifested here, but yeah, the same thing like, okay, I, I, my own progress with the contact doesn't evolve, uh, involve collective because I already have my own unique experiences so I can go further with them you know with the time when I will be ready for more and so on so it doesn't have to be like okay I need to wait for you know like a more physical contact with everyone like joining it so I don't know like um yeah so this is what I was uh, like uh, trying to say in the beginning or from the beginning it's like okay I when I was uh, delivering the channeling from Sheila it was uh, it was trying to be or I was also uh, I mean like when I'm channeling I can be communicating with her also other stuff that I'm, I'm not saying that I am asking her for clarification or sharing like like are you sure about this or why are you saying this I have these feelings about what you are what you want me to say and someone like can you like uh, maybe <laughs> give me some explanation why or something in that sense you know um, so about this disclosure videos that I did, um, I was feeling from her like, oh, okay, I, I am very skeptical. I'm probably more skeptical <laughs> than everyone else. But um, uh, uh, what I was feeling from her, she was offering, yeah, just energy, certain type of energy, uh, and it won't hurt anyone. Definitely, even not me being the skeptical to imagine. 
And maybe it's safer to not um, insist on the, like how much you really want to this contact this happen, happen and want this to happen and so on uh, and your imagination to happen. But just allow allowing I can imagine like me like this hard skeptical person like I can imagine like okay I can ap- accept those visions and those ideas and so if I can have uh, this freedom of that it's just beautiful imagination because my disbelief is so deep that I that it just hurts <laughs> so to maybe even think for a second that it could happen <laughs> or something in that sense yeah uh, so so yeah, uh, I am also working on personal level, like not not in a general way, but just with the Sheila, like manifesting more of her. Like why I am not allowing it also, why I'm blocking her in some way, like connect with me in those intimate ways or in whatever ways. I can, I can feel her many times in various ways, also like being me in a physical way, but I don't have those like uh, intimate merges anymore. Um, And I miss them. (laughs) But I realized, yeah, last year I had experience that I was uh, feeling in love with someone else, uh, but I was just using it as like, um, um, just permission slip, yeah, for like feeling good. It it wasn't that I wanted to be with a person or needed to or whatever, but I was just, yeah, I was just feeding myself with these feelings. And when I was opening up and just enjoying this in love feeling for some idea of some other person, suddenly I started to feel this energy merge and uh, energy rising. Uh, It was in the evening and I realized, okay, this, this was Sheila's energies and I was thinking that I wanted it so much and I was not able but in that moment when it surprised me I blocked her and said I don't want it <laughs> so basically my mind wants something else but truly really I don't want it so um, so so I'm trying to figure out like why you know And last few days I, I discovered, uh, or yeah, this morning also, like it's kind of like abandonment, you know, issues or something in that sense, uh, and pain. Um, but this morning I remembered something um, from my childhood, and I was uh, I was thinking about those things at the moment. Also, some days before, and it never came to me, but in, in this moment, I was thinking about it again and said something differently in my mind about it. And yeah, I, and then I had this outburst of energy from my heart <sighs> that I felt, damn it, okay, give me a second. Uh, that I felt ab- abandoned uh, by um, by people who are close to me. Well, it was my mom and my sister, um, and I didn't know why. Somehow, I was not sure. I I, I remember like uh, being conscious in that moment, but somehow forgot. Yeah, I, I know why I was there. It was just by my grandma that I was with my grandma during summer holidays, um, and, I, and I felt alone. And I knew, well, I, I'm not sure if I am remembering it correctly, but I I knew that I could be with my sister, but um, I thought that yeah, I guess my sister because she was getting older, she wanted to enjoy summer without me and with her friends because I was burdened (sighs) 
And also my mom was, you know, like I was missing my mom. Sorry, but God. <sighs> but I know that, you know, it's summer, so adults have, have to, you know, work. <sighs> now I'm thinking like, will I make one video without crying? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I dis discovered that and when I fell into like what I really felt. Even though I guess it was not about it, but this was just how I perceived it. You know, it created hurt in me, you know, and first depressions in my life, I guess. I was, I don't know, maybe I was six or something like that, so... I, I don't know if I was in a kindergarten or, or already in school, but I guess school. And so, um, yeah, I mean it, yeah, many times. Uh, I also experienced, like, uh, you know, when you are in a kindergarten after work, parents come to get you, and um, many times, uh, I remember just one time, but my mom told me it happened many times, uh, that um, uh, my, my father didn't pick me up, you know, that they agreed, like, uh, I don't know, some, sometimes she would, uh, I guess, uh, come for me or my sister or someone, and someone, sometimes, you know, like, when they couldn't or something, then my father was supposed to do do it, and he didn't. And I was always the last one waiting for parent to come, you know. And I'm, I am remembering, like, being there in that huge room that right now is very small. <laughs> because, uh, you know, when there are elections, it's happening in the kindergarten, so that room is so small, but... In my my memory, so big, you know, with the with the curtains and tables and stuff, and I was just drawing something that I I was drawing maybe day before or something that week on a uh, art course that I was attending, and it was in the kindergarten. So and I was telling the teacher like what we were doing and stuff. So and I was yeah remembering that and so I'm already feeling that kind of like um feeling of uh, like uh, surrender into that okay not trying to um, I don't create any I don't know maybe I was just suppressing sadness or something I I, I guess maybe I, I learned to suppress some sadness because uh, you know it wasn't anything new to me or something like that so maybe that's that's the reason. Yeah. So yeah, I, I was <laughs> I wanted to make video about uh, in a general way about the disclosure, and I was talking about myself. So yeah, uh, it's always improvisation with me. So um, yeah, so I will end it here. Um, I don't know. I I share it because I don't know. Like is another thing like. I don't want to hide, you know, and if I am going to have a process through the video, then I am going to have a process and it's my process for my own well-being. So if anyone, yeah, because I was judged before, so if anyone would judge me, like, go fuck yourself. <laughs> and for those who um, this allowed you to maybe not suppress your own emotions or reminded you something that you could go through something as well. So then I am happy that I could help you this way. Um, so yeah, in, in other video uh, that I don't know when I am going to make, <laughs> I hope soon, um, I would like to talk about, uh, you know, virus stuff and, uh, and um, my perspective on it. Uh, so yeah, so enjoy your days and uh, see you next time. Bye. Mm -hmm.